Good afternoon, preppers. Welcome to Goshen Prepping. Of course, we've been talking about extensively the culling off of birds because the avian flu or the avian flu and the incredible uh, price rise in eggs for that matter, even the shortage of eggs. And even the price of eggs actually have come down a little bit. We've also reported that they're about to go back up again. But the news is far worse than that, far worse. Um, yesterday, my kids and I went to um, a local farm store called Family Farm and Home. We love the store. In fact, we're really good friends with one of the managers there. We went in for a tarp, by the way. And um, But about this time of year, we usually walk in and hear the chicks. And no matter if we're there by a tarp or what, we love going and checking out the chicks and seeing which ones we might want to get. And we walk in the store and nothing. There's no chicken sounds whatsoever. So we went over and talked to our manager friend and said, what is going on with this? And he actually volunteered the information before we even asked him. He said, you hear that? There's no chicken sounds. We're like, yeah, what's going on? He said that basically the hatcheries in which that particular store buys the chickens from, the chicks from, are practically speaking at zero production. No chicks, no eggs. And he was even saying some of the customers would say, well, I'll just go to a different hatchery. And he's saying, you know, unfortunately, good, well, good luck with that. Because the thing is, if you want to have eggs, you have to have the chickens. And so many chickens are being called because of this. And it's the egg layers that are being called. We're seeing a serious deficiency, not necessarily just in store-bought eggs at your grocery store, which is happening too, but also for us wanting to buy the eggs or buy the baby chicks so we can actually have them at home as well. Now, I did hear... And again, I, at Ghost Prepping, we don't knock other channels. There's another channel that I've actually watched quite a few times, a really, really huge channel. They're talking about um, the problem that is in actually in the Purina chicken feed. That they claim that because there's the biggest egg laying manufacturer or company in America made a deal with Purina. And that deal was set up so... Um, Purina would be their, their only supplier of that feed. And they look at that as being a conspiracy. That's not a conspiracy. That's called business. You have to understand. Because if you're actually the biggest egg laying manufacturer in the country, it's very difficult to buy chicken feed from this little place, from that little place, from this little place, from this little place. Because when it comes to the smaller operations, even though you and I for our little farm at home might enjoy that, the big corporations cannot be hostage to possible delays or problems. So what do they do? They go to the biggest chicken feed producer there is, Purina, and says, let's make a deal. Not only that, they'll get a discount on the price since they're buying in massive bulk as well, and saying, let's go ahead and buy your Purina, and we're going to use you um, specifically. Now, Tractor Supply, if you actually go and look at their chicken feed, it's even though it's actually labeled as other feed, even Tractor Supply, it looks like it's also uh, going to be from this main company. Um, the actual larger producer of, the eggs they mention, the, of eggs they mentioned is called CalMain. And it is the largest producer of eggs. But you have to understand that it's, it only serves like a quarter of the country. And it's barely the largest in that quarter of the country. So it's not really as big as they really try to put it across. But the problem is they are making record profits. Okay, They're making pre record profits because when there are shortages, it's a supp supply and demand problem. If you have a huge, huge, huge demand, then it's always natural for the prices to go up and the company is raking big bucks. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying I agree with it. I don't. I hate it. But that's supply and demand. Because understand, if nobody's buying eggs, everybody said, I, said, well, I don't need any eggs, the prices will drop no matter how many there are in supply for them because they want to get them out the door because they'll expire. It's better to sell them first. It's supply and demand. That is not a conspiracy. But the thing is, when it comes to supplying these things, the, this, this website, no, sorry, this, web, this YouTube channel was claiming that they were actually poisoning the Purina for our chickens to stop them from laying eggs. And, you know, I, I like conspiracies. I don't know about you. I like reading them. But I always try to take a step back. And I think the problem with, with, with conspiracy theorists, and people from the channel will say, you should never use the word conspiracy theorist because all this stuff is real. Is it? You have to understand that you need to take a step back and look at this right, right way, okay? This big channel I was talking about actually showed a video clip from another channel some lady had never seen before. And she was saying, I mean, she was like way out there. I'm not saying this isn't true, but she was way out there saying, look, I have proof that Purina is killing off all your chickens and eggs at home too. Because her proof was first, two things. Number one, Purina is supplying the feed for this major chicken corporation. 
That's not a conspiracy. That's not proof. That's simply saying that the, that Calmaine wants a good deal on chicken feed. But and then secondly, through Tractor Supply, the Purina has been mislabeled. Now, what she said was she actually looked at some of the uh, Purina websites and said that they're actually starting to look more toward the market of people who are actually feeding their chickens at home. In other words, spreading out to that area. And that happened to be the exact same time when her chickens started slowing down their egg production. And what time of that was that? That was in September. And she said by November, the chickens were no longer laying eggs at all. That sounds like to me this mysterious thing called winter. Okay, I'm being facetious. And I know there's times where you can actually get your chickens to continue to lay eggs during wintertime. I know that. Um, but she's basically basing it all on saying that, oh my gosh, Purina is poisoning all of our chickens at home and making it so they can't lay eggs. First and foremost, I'm not saying that's not true. It may be. But guys, listen to me. And here's the moral of the story. Two morals. The big one at the end. Stick with it. The first moral is stop jumping on bandwagons. Stop looking for these connections. Because understand if Purina is the largest chicken feed producer and distributor in the country, they're going to try to actually make feed for every possible market there is. You have to understand that. That doesn't mean they're killing off your chickens with eggs. Now, I've actually heard from many people, and maybe you're one of them, I want to see them in the comments below, that there are a lot of people from around the country that their chickens just aren't laying eggs right now. That's very interesting to me, and I'm curious why. So I want to, I want to do this. For, for those of you watching, I want you to read the comments, not just a few, but read all the comments. I bet you anything, there's a lot of people out there who feed all their chickens scraps or let them free range, whatever. In other words, they're not on Purina. They're not on the major actual distributors and suppliers of feed. And their chickens are still down in producing their eggs or maybe down to zero. I bet you anything, a lot of those are out there. I think simply just jumping on a bandwagon and saying that Purina is killing off the chickens, I think you need to step back a little bit. But anyways, then this big channel was like, see, I told you, we're all in big trouble. And that's the second moral of the story. We are in trouble, without a doubt. And when you actually look at this avian flu, I've heard some people on the channel say, yeah, it really is a very horrible, catastrophic thing. But I've heard by far the majority of people saying, this is ridiculous. I haven't seen any avian flu in my area at all. And they're just trying to kill off the birds. For me personally, just from the amount of people I've heard, I would lean toward that side. They're probably just trying to curb the market. They're trying to make it so prices will go up. They're trying to make it so we can't take care of ourselves at home very well. But I'll tell you right now, if that's really their goal, they're not doing a very good job because we just went to Sam's Club. The amount of eggs they had was incredible. The amount of eggs we've seen at Costco and Walmart and such is incredible. A lot of eggs. They have not taken them away from us completely. They're not. They're there. The prices have gone up, but prices have gone up in everything. No matter what inflation says, no matter what they say, the inflation is going down. It is not. The price of food is still going way up. The thing is, guys, it comes down to this. At Goshen Prepping, we say this all the time. We prep so we don't live in fear. And that's the whole purpose of this video. If you think there's something happening with the production of eggs, which by the way, that is an important thing because eggs, I'm telling you right now, is the perfect food. You could literally live off, live off just eggs the rest of your life and be a very healthy person. Eggs are so good for you. No matter what the government tells you, every, every while they'll come and say, oh, eggs are bad for you. No, they're not. They're absolutely amazing for you. The best food there is. But the thing is, you should not focus so much on, is it Purina trying to kill us? Is it them burning down the hatcheries? Is it them calling all the birds and killing them up? All that stuff, sure, is important. But the most important thing is for you and I, when there's actually a problem, we need to find a way around it and we need to prep. That is the purpose of Goshen Prepping. And I hope that is the purpose that you have in your house as well. It's interesting to talk about what possibly is going on, but listen, all of that, everything you see in here is just hearsay. Mainstream media, even if they're actually on the up and up, which they're not, by the way, even if they are, they're, you're still reading somebody else's words. When you're watching a YouTube channel that basically says Purina is trying to kill us all, those are just some people's words and opinion. You must have a brain for yourself. But again, it doesn't matter if you believe in all that stuff or not. It's interesting to talk about. What is interesting and what's important to talk about is you finding a way to stockpile eggs, buying egg powder, or getting your own chickens, or something, do whatever you can. Because that's where preparedness comes in. Prepping 
is not on jumping on bandwagons and scaring the crap out of each other and basically saying, oh my gosh, we're all going to die. Because you know what? We are all going to die. It's a human natural fact. It's just a matter of when. And you taking care of yourself and preparedness is the key to prolonging that life, not griping, complaining, and basically throwing out all these conspiracy theories. Guys, be careful about going into those. We'll talk about them. It's good to talk about this stuff, but you need to keep your eye on the prize, and that's keeping you and your family prepared. Thanks for watching.